Hello everyone and welcome to my 90 day fiance official channel I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Chris Foster from 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 4 annoys her Instagram followers with her latest fundraiser request, Ding Dong Ditch. Chris Foster triggered 90 Day Fiancé fans by posting a questionable fundraiser on Instagram. The 40-year-old Alabama native was among the most controversial names from 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 4. She was full of mysteries and hid many secrets from her 30-year-old ex, Jamie Noguera. While Chris did marry her partner on the spin-off, the two didn't last long. During the tell-all special episodes, the popular pair announced they had split due to personal differences such as cheating and ghosting. 90 Day Fiancé's Chris Foster recently confused her followers by posting about a fundraiser on Instagram. The 40-year-old single mom shared a screenshot of her GoFundMe page, which she titled Ding Dong Ditch. Besides the weird name, Chris didn't state why she requested donations, therefore, 90 Day Fiancé viewers got extremely irritated by the post and called her out in the comments section. An Instagram user wrote, no caption? Just ding dong ditch? I'm lost. Another user chimed in, send you money for. Some fans even called the fundraiser a scam. However, Chris didn't defend herself. Why do 90 Day Fiancé fans find Chris Foster shady? It's understandable why so many fans are skeptical of Chris and her need for donations. During the other way season 4, she always had convoluted stories and excuses for her actions. When Chris flew to Colombia to marry Jamie, she hid much about her personal life. However, when things got serious, the American woman had to unveil things to her partner. From her stolen motorcycle incident to her various physical issues, Chris had a bag of secrets that shocked everyone. Therefore, she was seen as a fraud and untrustworthy person, Chris didn't reveal why she was asking for donations. However, her social profile suggests it is probably to help people in need. In June 2023, she promoted another GoFundMe, asking fans to help her best friend. Before that, Chris promoted a drag show to support another cause. It may be that the Alabama reality star has started another fundraiser for a good reason. However, the weird title, Ding Dong Ditch, and the lack of a link caused a lot of confusion. Hopefully, she'll soon address the issue on social media before it's too late. Chris has tried to change her image since appearing on the show. She doesn't call herself a reality TV star or seem to associate with 90 Day Fiancé. Unlike other cast members who use the show's hashtags for views, Chris only speaks her mind and uses her social media as a personal diary. Her bio also doesn't mention the popular reality TV show. Instead, she has used the space to tell fans she is now brave enough to stand up for herself. The 90 Day Fiancé alum claims she's finally free and lives on her terms. Next topic. 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 days has been difficult for pairs, including David and Sheila, especially since Sheila has a complicated backstory. Point 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days Season 6 newcomer Sheila Mangubat not only has a genuine romance with David Dangerfield, but the single mother is shaping up to be the most sympathetic cast member of the season. Sheila, a 31-year-old mother from the Philippines, isn't perfect. However, she shows an exceptional level of understanding and kindness, despite her difficult circumstances. Sheila and David made their franchise debut as the most genuine couple on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days Season 6. Though they have shared a number of awkward moments as they navigate David being deaf and struggle with communication, the duo shows a real spark and the chance at having a lasting romance. Unlike many of the incompatible couples this season, David and Sheila show love for each other and appear to have a shot at working out in the real world after filming ends. However, Sheila also has many struggles of her own. Sheila is doing her best to accommodate David. Sheila is one 90-day fiancé franchise cast member who is trying hard for her partner. She is earnestly learning ASL while living in the Philippines. It's clear that her slow progress is devastating to her, 
especially when David brought in an interpreter to help speak with her family. However, Sheila is doing the best she can with her impoverished circumstances. It is also apparent that Sheila deeply loves David and is doing the most to navigate her only relationship experience with someone who is deaf. She shows an impressive level of care and understanding. Sheila lives in extreme poverty. Sheila is a 90-day fiancé franchise cast member who has a difficult life. Her impoverished living conditions on before the 90 days shocked David when he arrived. She has been living this way her entire life, as this was also her childhood home. Despite living in such dire conditions, Sheila didn't publicize this to David or ask for significant amounts of money. She downplayed her struggles and only accepted what she needed to get by, as she's not someone who uses other people or seeks pity. David was even brought to tears when he saw the condition Sheila lives in with her parents and son. Sheila will experience unbearable loss. Sheila is someone with a hard life who is doing the best she can to be positive, cheerful, and supportive. Unfortunately, the previews for next week show things will get more difficult for her, as someone in her family appears to die. Sheila breaks down in hysterical sobs, while David tries to comfort her and someone is put in a casket. This is devastating for the 90-day fiancé, before the 90-days newcomer, as Sheila deeply wanted her family to connect with David during his visit. Instead, she's losing a loved one while he's there. Hopefully, David can extend the same support to Sheila that she has to him.